Okay, today I'm going to explain the Ninja Marketing Method membership. I'm actually going to explain the Ninja Marketing Method. We're going to take a 10,000 foot view of it so that you can understand exactly what the process is. It's a three-step framework designed to make your ideal prospect ask you to join their team or ask to join your team. So you do this by creating content the content that you make that makes people come back for more and it makes them share it. So the three steps are very simple. It's serve, present, and pursue. Now it's not exactly what you're thinking. Serve, you would think, that, okay, that's simple. You're serving your audience, but no, <clears throat> that's not what we're doing in the first step. The first step under serve is you're determining how you will serve your audience. Big difference. The second one is present. Now you think that's presenting your opportunity. You know, we're in network marketing or if you're affiliate mar marketing, whatever you're actually in, you think that this would be presenting your offer to them. No. Present is where you're presenting your knowledge to them, showing yourself as an expert and pursue. Now that is what it sounds like. That's where you're finally given the green light and now you can pursue your prospect. You can pursue them and ask them anything you want, whether it be you're creating a course yourself and you're going to ask them to purchase a course from you, or if you simply just want them to join your team and that's it. But we don't pursue until you complete the other two steps. So let's go a little bit deeper. Serve. In this phase, this is where you are finding and determining what your superpower is going to be. The superpower that you pick is going to become everything. This is going to be your unique benefit for joining your team. Like for me, I'm the Lady Marketing Ninja, so the unique benefit that I present is marketing. That's my superpower. So. Throughout this process, you're going to develop and fine tune your superpower as well. And this helps you find your ideal prospect also. These are the people that you're going to want to serve and you're going to do that with the knowledge that you have created. You serve them by educating them on your superpower. So see, it's really very simple. <clears throat> you find what superpower you want to have, you develop and create that superpower, and you use that superpower as your unique selling proposition, your unique benefit for joining your team, and it's also you serve them simply by documenting your journey. <laughs> it's so simple. You only need to be one chapter ahead of them. So you only need to, to perfect one area. Now, we all know online businesses have, I mean, there's a multitude of areas <clears throat> that you need to learn to make this whole game work. So you're just picking one. You're making that your unique selling proposition, your blue ocean, if you will, and that will dictate what prospects come to you. People that already know marketing are not going to be attracted to me. They already have that area solved. The people that are pulled to me are the people that are struggling with marketing and trying to get people to join their team and trying to get people to, to fill their email list. That's the people that are drawn to me because that's my superpower and that's what I present to people. So it takes the pressure off when you only have to select one thing. And you do this by finding your superpower and sharing your knowledge with them. So you need to start thinking today, what is your hidden talent? And I know some people think I don't have any, but we all have hidden talents. Maybe it's just an area that you're interested in. You want to pick something that is truly fascinating to you because this is where you're going to go deep and you're going to learn everything you possibly can. So if you don't have an interest in an area, then you're not going to do it. You're not going to stick with it and it's not going to be your superpower. It's going to be the weight that's dragging you down and it's going to be the reason that you're not succeeding. 
So make it easy on yourself. And you may not get this right on the first pass. I've had numerous passes at this. And as you're building your online business, that's where your superpower is going to become, um, it's going to come to light. Because you're going to see it. Because you're going to need to, to, you know, build a website. You're going to need to communicate with your um, prospects. You're going to need to tell them stories. You're going to need to um, email them. You're going to need to create an autoresponder. You're going to need to create lead magnets. Now, it all sounds overwhelming now, and I'm not wanting you to freak out and say, no, heck, I'm not going to do this. It really is very simple, but there's a lot that you're going to need to learn to go through this. And I've created this so you can go through it in probably 20 or 30 days, less than 30 days. You should be able to complete the entire process. So think about it. In less than a month, you can have your, your business fully up and running, have your superpower, and you're off to the races. So don't get overwhelmed in this video. This is just to let you know exactly what the Ninja Marketing Method is about. So it's very important that you, that you pick the right topic for this. It's very important that you get this step right. And now I'm going to give you some options, some things just to think about. <clears throat> Finding prospects. That's an area you can go deep on. How to attract those prospects. Persuading prospects to join you. Motivating prospects or motivating your, the team members <clears throat> into building their businesses. Training teams. That's a whole area that you can go deep on. Lead magnets in general. Now, a lead magnet, if you don't know, that's simply the bait that you create <clears throat> that gets people to, to pay you to get it. And they're paying you with their email address. So you're saying, okay, here's this unique um, newsletter or here's this ebook that I've created. If you, it's going to solve this problem for you. And if you want this problem solved, you give me your email address, I give you the lead magnet that solves that problem. So that's what a lead magnet is. The lead magnet is the bait that you are creating. Um, email marketing is another one. Building funnels. Now, a funnel is simply a website. <clears throat> Russell Brunson co uh, coined this term, building a funnel, because it's, you know, a funnel is larger at the top and then it gets smaller at the bottom. Well, that's what you're doing. You're, you may gather in thousands of people may come to your website. And once they get to your website, there's really only two options. They either give you the email address and get your bait, or they say, no, that's not for me, and they leave. So they're self-selecting. They're raising their hand saying, I'm interested in this. What you have to offer me, I'm interested. So you're getting highly qualified people for your email list. So building websites building funnels. That's what I'm talking about there. So he calls it a funnel because, like I said, thousands of people hit the website, but you funnel down and you only get the people that are right for your lead magnet or your bait. Marketing is another topic. Confidence is another topic. Sales. Ads. It's a whole other topic. Social media content. Content. Whole other topic. Building a brand. Having a YouTube channel, having a podcast, having a blog. All of those are their unique aspects. Writing the copy for all of these things. That's a, a unique, that's a superpower. Storytelling, that's a superpower. And the fact of developing your superpower, that can be a um, thing you can go deep on as well. So let's say that you decide to go deep on social media that you pick that as your superpower because you, that may fascinate you and you like using social media and you're good at that. That's wonderful. But don't try to go, say, okay, I'm going to do all social media. No, you pick one. You pick um, Instagram. And then you just go deep on Instagram. You become the, that's your superpower, just social media of Instagram. And then people are going to be drawn to you. People that are trying to build their business on Instagram, they're going to flood, come flooding to you because that's your superpower. So you're building the audience that you want. They're self-selecting. They're raising their hands saying, yes, this is for me. And in reality, if you've picked your superpower correctly, 
then they're your ideal customer. That's the ideal person that you want for your team. You're gonna use your superpower to solve one problem for your audience. So like I said, if um, social media is yours or mine is marketing, I'm solving the marketing problem for people. And marketing is how you get your offer in front of people. It's how you get the people to your store. Now you're to the point of being able to create your website because now you've, you've been through the training, you've got your superpower, now you have something to build off of. Now you're ready to, to build your storefront. So you're building your website and you're advertising all about what you have to offer them. And this is where that you're gonna, they're gonna be able to click and say, they're gonna be able to hit a button and say, yes, I want this lead magnet, I want this bait. So they're, again, they're self-selecting saying, yes, this is how, this is the help I need and you have the solution I wanna learn from you. So you've created your, you know your superpower, you've created your social media, I mean your website. Now you need to, to fix all your social media sites. Everywhere that you're on, a social media site you need to perfect your profile on that site and you need to have your website your link put in all of those areas because you're not gonna spam people on social media you're gonna educate them you're gonna build rapport and they're gonna like it so much they're gonna click on your link and they're gonna see or your profile then they'll see your link and then they'll be able to click and take your offer you're going to do the same thing with your email signature. So anytime you're emailing someone, your signature is going to have your link under it, your website. You're also going to join social media groups that are related to your superpower. And all of that is under the first pillar of the Ninja Marketing Method. Please, please, please don't get overwhelmed. This is a lot simpler than it sounds. I mean, I've taken 12 minutes just to explain the first topic, so I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way I can do this. You can. You just find one superpower and you serve them with that. So now let's move to present. So now is where you're able to present your superpower to the world and show yourself as an expert. This is where you actually become the expert. So you can create training for your audience. You can use that training as a lead magnet. And you don't have to create the training live. You don't have to say, okay, you know, on this date, I'm going to be live on Facebook and you can go in there and watch me educate you on marketing. It's very overwhelming and especially if you're new to all this you're probably not wanting to get in front of people and it's very overwhelming so you can just record it like I'm recording right now I'm using Camtasia I'm recording you can record your screen and you can record yourself at the same time and then you save it on YouTube which is free and then you create your website and I'm gonna tell you all the tools you need you really only need one tool to do everything and um, it's one tool you have to pay for. The rest you use, you can use <clears throat> most of them for free. We'll go over that much later. But today, today's topic is I'm just trying to explain the Ninja Marketing Method to you. So you have created your lead magnet, which maybe you just have a little ebook that you created. And you're advertising on your social media sites, not advertising. You're, you're posting topics that's going to help your audience. And then they're going to, again, go to your profile to get your link and then see your opportunity. Once they actually get to your website page and say, yes, I want to take that lead magnet, now they've given you their email address. And now you, on the training page that you've created, that's where you can put the button at the bottom. After they've gone through your training, you put the button at the bottom that gives them the opportunity to join your team. But once they join your email list, all, everything's over. You know, you don't have to, to pretend anymore. You don't have to just give them good value. Now you can speak to them as a prospect. You can ask them to join your team and ask them anything you want to at that point. Once they've given you their email address, they've given you the green light to communicate with them. Now we have a specific way to do that, so go through the training. In the training, we're going to cover 
how you can use other people's training to create this page for yourself. So don't get overwhelmed. You don't have to do all this yourself in the beginning when you're just getting started. I have ways around all of this. I have secret little tactics to help you. So just please, please, please don't get overwhelmed and go through the actual training. So next you can record episodes for the show you're going to create. You're either going to have a blog, you're going to have a podcast, you're going to have a YouTube channel. This is how you're going to get your message out. And nine times out of ten, it's free. Well, if you do a podcast, you're probably going to have to pick a um, service that will host it for you. <clears throat> but that's not, I mean, it's like $15 a month. So it's not like it's going to break the bank. So, and again, we'll discuss all that in the training. But you are going to do that. And that's going to, again educate your audience and you're just documenting your journey in that you're just telling them what you've studied what you've learned and how you're implementing it in your business educating your audience you also post free content free training on social media you can go in the groups that you've joined and you can answer questions again you just answer the question you're helping them you're not saying um here's the answer to that question and click this link to join my team no, 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 no. Remember, you're serving your audience first. You, you have to get a mentality of helping, helping, helping. Serving them, never asking for anything in return. It will work. Trust me. You can also join groups like Quora and I think it's Ask, where you can be like an expert on there and you can answer questions and it will show who answered the questions. They can click on you takes them to the profile page again that you have made professional. They can click your link and get to you that way as well. You're also going to create lead magnets to offer them free training. So they're not paying you anything except for the email. And again, they're going to self-select. Only the people interested in your superpower are going to take you up on the offer. This is going to filter out, filter out all the people that are not interested. No more having the conversation of is network marketing legit or not. Is it a pyramid scheme? You don't have to worry about that. You can also create a summit. This is where you... Um, I'm just going to give a brief overview of this because I have training on this in it in the... Um, session as well. Um, you create a panel of three or four people. So you pick three or four people that have similar superpowers that kind of complement each other. And then you either post to all of your email groups, all four of you are emailing your own group, your audience and saying, look, we have created this summit. Come listen if you'd be interested in getting free training from all four of us. All you got to do is click here, give me your email address, and you can also advertise on your social media. You can actually run ads on it. You can record your, say you've got a YouTube channel, you can record um, episodes on your summit that's coming up, and you have a specific date for this. And again, it can already be recorded and housed on this special website, but you're not releasing it until this special date. So they've bought They've bought in. They're saying, yes, I want to hear this special training. Then you can share all those emails with everybody that all the summit members. So the other three people that are getting people to join the summit, they're getting you email. They're getting you people for your email list as well. Easy peasy. I hope your mind's going, whew, this is some good stuff I'm dropping on you right now. But I don't want you to get overwhelmed. I'm, just, I'm trying to walk a fine line here. So, okay, again, that's a small snippet of what a summit is another thing is you can go on other people's shows so if you pick youtube channel then you want to go on other people's youtube channels if you pick podcasts you want to go on other people's podcasts because it sounds stupid but people that listen to podcasts only listen to podcasts they're not getting the information from podcasts and going to youtube and getting it there too you could put the same content on both, but usually the people that watch it on the video, they're not going to go listen to it on the podcast also. So certain people will subscribe to podcasts, whereas certain people are going to subscribe to YouTube channels. So again, you want to get on the same network that your show is on. So if it's a blog, go on other people's blogs. If it's a podcast, go on other people's podcasts. If it's a YouTube channel, 
get on other people's YouTube channels and present your superpower that way. And when you're on their show, you can make an offer to their audience because people will love for you to talk to their audience and give them free stuff. So that's where you offer your free lead magnet to them. All they got to do is give you their email address and they get this lead magnet for free. You only pick one platform if you're going to run ads because you want to perfect how to run it on that one platform because they're all very tedious and very, they're not really hard to learn, but it's hard to figure out the algorithm and find the audience and get the right message and all that stuff. So if you're going to run ads, you're going to waste a ton of money if you try to do Facebook and Instagram, well, Facebook and Instagram run together. But if you're trying to do Facebook and then you're trying to do Google and then you're trying to do Twitter and then you're trying to, or X now, and then you're trying to do um, whatever any other social media is, it's going to be very, very costly. You need to perfect running ads with one channel first and then you can branch out. Um, social media, you use that to build your brand only. You don't ask them for anything on the social media page. You want them to take your lead magnet or give you their email address by, by taking your lead magnet. But again, they have to go to your profile to get that. You're not putting anything. Now you can create a picture that may have your website you know, on the picture itself in the bottom or something. That's, I think, is okay because that's not, you're still helping them in your post, but you're not in any way supposed to ask for anything on social media. I know other people have different thoughts about this. This is just how I do it. And if you're wanting to do it the Ninja Marketing Method way, listen to what I say. Because if you um, provide value, provide value, provide value, and then ask them to buy something, you're going to lose some followers because they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, she doesn't really want to help me. She's just in it for, for the, the business. She's just posting this for the business. But if you always provide value and never ask for anything in return, they're going to be like, oh my God, I can so trust this person. I love this person. I need to get more for them and they will search you out. Trust me, it works. Okay, now we're to the final stage. Pursue. They've given you their email address and now you have the right. There's no rules at this point. You can ask them anything you want to because they've given you permission. So this is where your email follow-up comes into play. And this is done through additional education and serving them. So you never stop serving them. You never stop. You don't want to just say, okay, you're on my email address. You're on my email list now. Um, here's this offer. Here's that offer. Here's this offer. Here's that offer. You still want to say, you know, I, here's a quick tip that I learned today. Let me, let me tell you what I learned today. And then you're still educating them on your superpower. But at the end of that, you can put a call to action in every single email. And your call to action can be the same in every single email. Because unfortunately, they're not all going to open it. And they're not all going to see it. And if they did, they're opening so many other emails, they're going to forget that, yeah, you offered them the same thing the day before. So if you want to put, join my team on every single one, that's fine. And sometimes it takes, you know, eight or nine touches for them to finally say, yeah, I, I think I do want to join their team. And sometimes it's just not the right timing. They, they like you. They like your content. Continue to email them and they will eventually take you up on the opportunity. Because if they were not interested in the first place, they never would have given you the email address. So you've got to hit them at the very beginning. You've got to continue to email them. And it's up to you if you email them daily or not. Sometimes I, I'll go through for weeks emailing them you know, every single day. And then other times I'll let it rest for a little bit. And then I go again. So you have to just fine tune. You have to see what your list responds well to. And there's a lot of training on emailing as well. So I'm not going to go any deeper on that at this time. So after you've helped them solve the problem, one problem in their business, now you can present to them your opportunity and you're saying, look, I've solved this one problem for you. Join my team and let me solve the rest of them. And you'll get a lot of people to actually say yes. So once you get their email address, they're on your email list, you can make as many offers to them as you like. Again, you still provide benefit and they'll eventually take you up on your offer. And this is done by offering to help them more 
at the next level by joining your team. So you continue to pursue until they join or they unsubscribe to your list. And as long as you don't disrespect them and you know be hateful, they're most likely not going to kick you off their list. So continue to serve them, but in every single email, make an offer. So you're serving, you're presenting, you're pursuing. Now let me give you an example. Trying to figure out, or trying to figure this online game, MLM game out, was a process for me. And in the process of trying to figure everything out, I fell in love with marketing. And I developed into the Lady Marketing Ninja. I created a quiz, which was my lead magnet. You know, you can create a quiz saying, okay, take this quiz and I'll tell you what your confidence destroyer is. That was one of my quizzes. And people were like, yeah, I need to figure out what's destroying my confidence and how to avoid that. So then they click on, they take the quiz, then you give them the results. And to get the result, they give you their email address. That's the lead magnet. And then after the email address, I personally, I used to have a webinar. So they took the quiz, they gave me their email, I gave them the quiz results, that's my lead magnet. The quiz results did answer that question, it solved that problem for them, and then it said, I have more free training for you, here's a webinar, an hour long of free training. So then they sign up for the webinar, and on the webinar, I personally am selling the Ninja Marketing Method, or selling a course that I created. And then once I give them the course, and that most that they're paying for if they take it to the next level because the webinar the lead magnet's free the hour-long training is free the webinar and i am giving back value on that too then the next offer for me is a paid opportunity so then they buy that and but once they hit my email list i can email them anything on joining my team at that point so i provide free training on social media I have a YouTube channel and I have a podcast. I don't have a blog. So once you get them on your email list, then you can push as many offers as possible. You don't have to go as deep as I did by creating an entire course on this. I developed love for helping people and training people, so it was a pleasure for me to create the course. And it's a way for me to go deeper with people. You just have to go deep enough to get your audience to know, like, and trust you. So whatever that is, however much benefit you have to provide them for them to know, like, and trust. For some people, it's going to be one interaction. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, she knows what she's talking about. Sign me up. I'm ready to join the team. Or for me, I'm ready to give money and join the team. And other people, you're going to have to provide so much benefit because they have been burnt by other people and they don't want to get burnt again. So it just depends on the person, the situation, and the circumstance. By helping people, you never ask them for anything, and it takes their guard down. Again, with the social media example, if you're providing value and then you're offering them something, I noticed this on my own page that I was just helping people feel better about themselves, helping them have a better day, and helping them understand how our mind works, and trying to help them build confidence. And I was providing value every single day. I was doing a quick little um, reel. So a minute, minute and a half every day, telling them a different tip for the day. Um, kind of a motivation speech. And I had people that were just so supportive and just posted nonstop. And then at the end of that, I started saying, if you would like more help, go to ladymarketingninja.com and I can help you further. Thinking that was the right thing to do because I had provided value nonstop and the people that were the most supportive just left and never came back. And I was like, okay, wow, that taught me a lesson. So it taught me that you need to, to treat your social media like a party scene. If you're at a somebody's house party, you're at a party, you're not going to be talking nonstop about your business and trying to, to sell people. You're there to, to put, you know, to let your hair down and take your heels off and relax and have fun. You're not there to sell anybody anything. Now, if people come up and ask you, well, what do you do for a living? That's when you give them your little, your little elevator pitch, your little, okay, one line of what I do. That's kind of like a sales pitch. If they ask for more, then you can go deeper. If they don't, you've answered the question, you move on. You wait for them to come up to you. That's how you need to treat your social media. 
People don't join the MLM company. They join you. So you need to, to be the person that they can know, like, and trust. You build rapport with them, and they will join you. And the best part is you don't have to sell anything by doing it the Ninja Marketing Method way. You're never selling anything, and that's people's biggest drawback to network marketing. They don't want to sell things. And network marketing makes it sound like we're just, you're just giving a review. You don't have to sell anything. You're just giving a review, which, yeah, that... That can be done that way, but some people don't even feel comfortable with that because they see the hidden meaning behind it. People always wonder, like mine is skincare. I'm with Roy Dan and Fields. That's my network marketing company. Um, so I'm presenting, okay, this is the skincare that I use. I love it. But since I also am a consultant for Roy Dan and Fields, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, does she really love it or is she just doing this because she's trying to get me as a customer? But doing it the ninja marketing method way, where you're educating them on the benefits of skincare, the benefits of uh, using skin, um, sunscreen. You know, you're giving them benefits for using your products, and you're never asking them for anything. They're eventually going to say, oh my gosh, I want these products. Let me see why she loves these so much. So you don't have to sell anything anymore. They ask for more. And again, that's when they go to your social media main page and learn more about you. And that's where they're going to see your link. They're going to click on your link. And then they can click on your website now. They can click the link to get your lead magnet. And on the website page, it's not like a normal um, website page. It's a funnel where they have the option to get your lead magnet or that's it. You might can put a few more things on it, but I wouldn't put a like a whole normal website. I would just make it a lead magnet page. Um, they're glad to give you their email for more free training because you've already provided so much value to them for free. And you want to make your lead magnet something that you should sell. You want to feel sick for giving it away for free. Because when they get that lead magnet, this is how they're judging you. And if the lead magnet is just trash because all they had to give you was their email, then they're, they're done with you. They're like, okay, mark them off my list, and they're going to un unsubscribe the first time you email them because you upset them. And they're going to block, and they're going to kill your brand because they're going to talk and post about you. So make your lead magnet something that they should pay for. Then they get the lead magnet like, oh my gosh, I should have paid $50 for this. Look how great this, look at all the information in this. What are they going to do now? They're going to either buy more from you or join your team, which is ultimately what we want. Okay, you now have them on your email list, which means you now can pursue them until they join you. And the training will go much deeper on this process. The training, you need to think of the Ninja Marketing Method training that you're going to go through like the Karate Kid movie. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you right now. It's like wax on, wax off. The Karate Kid, it was this um, high school kid that kept getting beat up by other bullies. And he was single. He was uh, from a single mom, you know, didn't have any money and he couldn't afford to get, take karate from anybody. So he, he befriended Mr. Miyagi and Mr. Miyagi decided to, to teach him karate. So the way he did that is he had him do chores around the house. He had him wax his car, but he had to do it in a special way. When you wash the car, you wash it with this motion. When you wax the car, you wax it. If you're going this way, then you're going the other way. You wax the car the other way. So wash, wax, or wax on, wax off. So he was doing all these different chores that was really building muscles and building um his muscle memory so he could defend himself without even realizing it and then he, he finally got so angry one day the karate kid did he got so angry and he started fussing at mr miyagi and he said you're not teaching me anything i spend weeks and months and all i'm doing is is working for you and you're just you know using me as a employee and this is not fair and so then mr miyagi like started attacking him and then while he was attacking him he was yelling wax on and he was automatically doing the the routine and he was defending himself and he was like oh Okay, yeah, you did teach me. So that's what it's going to feel like when you're going through this. You're going to be like, okay, when am I going to actually get the meat and potatoes? That's why I want to give you the meat and potatoes up front. 
This is the ninja marketing method. I just explained it to you. Serve, you find your superpower. Present, you're presenting your superpower to your audience. And then pursue is where, once I give you the email address, then you now can pursue them to join your team. So it really is simple when you think of it in that manner. And once you get it down, it is very simple. But there's a lot to learn to get to those three steps. So please, please, please take this seriously. Go through all the training. Learn all the techniques. And then you can put it all together. And if you pick wrong to begin with, don't worry. It will lead you to your correct superpower. Because in the process of building your funnels, in the process of running ads, in the process of building lead magnets, you're going to find something that, that you really like doing and that you really are happy to do or creating your show. And talents are going to come out of you and people are going to be drawn to you. And throughout this whole thing, you're just being yourself. You need to be your authentic self and you need to present your authentic self to your audience. Show them your failures. Why is Superman fascinating? Because he has kryptonite. If it were the, without kryptonite, no one would relate to Superman. No one would care. So every single superhero, they have something that either makes them human or makes them flawed in some way that they have to deal with that makes people relatable. And you're going to learn all that in the training too. So this training is like the Karate Kid. Think about that as you're going through it. It will make sense if you go through the whole thing. And I need you to commit to, to completing the training. You've already, if you haven't already done it, you're going to have to sign a commitment agreement. Do that. It's for your benefit because people that sign these agreements actually complete it. And if you complete this, you cannot lose if you do not quit. Thank you and good luck to you.